Are you nervous? Um. Excited? I don't, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I, I'm feeling like this is the day, you know, we're, we're going to go do this. Uh, I'm Lorenzo Lamas, actor, director, father of six, recently married, and in need of a facelift. Is he? Yeah. Well, how do you feel about the situation? Uh, I don't want you to get your face. Because your beauty is a lie, then. Because why? Your beauty is a lie. I was nervous because doctors sometimes mess up and then they try to do it over again, but it just makes it worse. And they put extra like stuff on it and it might look different. Well, really? Because it kind of, it's going to be a new face. I mean, not completely new, but it's going to look just younger, honey. It's not going to be a different looking. But you'll have bruises all over your face. Probably, yeah, for a little while, but it's going to all go away. It's a small price to pay. I'm kind of sad because um, he, he's going to look different. How do you feel, baby? I love it. Why? Because I think it's, I think you deserve it. You deserve to feel good about your face and feeling youthful. My name is Shauna Craig. I am wife to Lorenza Lamas. She's the reason why I'm here. I mean, basically, Shauna is the reason why I feel like this is the right time to do this procedure. And not just because she's 24 and I'm 53. You have such a young heart, a young spirit. And, um, and you still look really young, but why not, you know, keep yourself staying young? I think you'll be really happy. I work at a fertility agency. I was an egg donor for couples who can't conceive for about two years. I donated six times to six families who ended up getting pregnant. I always knew that I was gonna do something, whether it was acting or singing or something like that. It's good to have confidence and to be proud of your looks. She's like, you gotta do this. And I go, oh, gosh, I'm not sure. It's, you know, the, what if something goes wrong? And she goes, Nothing's gonna go wrong, Lorenzo. You're in good hands. Trust it, you know. So here we are. Yay, I'm so excited. I want Shauna to look at me and say, oh, Reno. That would be the best outcome. I'll be honest with you, you know, the last couple of years, my agent has come back to me with things like, you know, yeah, they, they, they felt you were right for it, but you just right, you're just kind of out of their age range, you know. I go, but David, I, you know, I, I look fairly young for my age. He goes, yeah, but you know, it's just like they, they're looking at numbers here, you know, and you're just you're in your 50s, and they're looking for guys in their 40s, late 30s, and I'm going, damn. Greece was the first big break, I think, that I, I got, but my world didn't change until I got Falcon Crest. Then I couldn't walk down the street unless, you know, people would, they would stop me for autographs and pictures. It was crazy. An outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. Renegade gave me my greatest amount of success. When a show that you're on gets canceled, you, you just basically take stock of what you got in the bank because you really don't know if you'll ever get work again. Dr. Mike, this is Shauna. Hi, Shauna. Hi. Nice to meet Very nice you. Very nice to meet you. How are you doing? Great nice to, meet, to you. meet you. My name is Mark Monty, and I'm a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. This is uh, my daughter, Isabella. Hey, Isabella. How are you? Dr. Monty. Dr. Monty, nice to meet you. He's going to be doing Beautiful. the operation, and I feel very, very good about it. With Lorenzo, I'm going to do a mini facelift. 
Um, you know, he doesn't have that much extra skin, but he's a good candidate for the type of facelift procedure that I do, which involves lifting the deeper layers of the face. I could fill this in with just fat, and I think that would help, but the trick yeah. is to do that without making you look pulled, without pulling too much skin. Patients should know uh, what could go wrong during plastic surgery, because it is surgery. Um, things that can go wrong are, you know, you can have infections. Luckily, those are very rare in facial surgery because there's an ample blood supply in the face. Um, also, bleeding can happen and it's possible to get a uh, hematoma or blood collection under the skin. Um, luckily, my rate of having those happen is extremely low, but it's something that the patient should be ready for. His recovery is going to be a, about a week to two weeks. He has, you know, relatively normal thickness skins and men tend to bruise a little bit less, but I'm just going to prepare him to have bruising for about two weeks and he should be ready for that. Okay. I love you. Bye bye, honey. My concerns about the surgery are, are nothing more or less than anybody being, you know, concerned about operating on their face. I don't want to look like a Picasso painting, but I, don't, I, I know that's not going to happen. So my concerns are, are unfounded, you know, but we all have them. It's natural. Okay, you're going to go to sleep. You're going to take a big nap right now. No snoring, okay? <laughs> no snoring. I want this every night. You and Michael, right? <laughs> okay. Alright, how are you doing? Can you open your eyes? With Lorenzo, I'm going to do harmonic technology. Harmonic technology is an ultrasonic technology that allows me to separate tissues with ultrasound as opposed to heat or cautery. It's a bloodless type of surgery and what that means for me is that I get to see the anatomy much better. What it means for the patient is that the recovery is quicker so we can do facial surgery, facelifts, and have them get back on camera within a couple of weeks in a lot of cases. The first side of the face usually takes longer, it usually takes me three hours. The second side of the face, two hours. With Lorenzo, we just want to kind of get him back to that look of that, that headshot from the, that was from the 90s. We're going to find the two and a half pounds of fat on his body and we're going to suck it out and inject it into his face. And I'm just injecting tiny, tiny little amounts with every pass. It went beautifully. Um, you know, it, uh, it, it was, um, you know, to do it right takes a long time, obviously. Um, but I was really pleased with how everything went. There she is. Huh? Is it like Ricky? Long day. Oh. He's in recovery. Is he awake? He's awake. He's kind of woozy. Can I see he's... him? Of course. There he is. It's a little better now that the, oh. you get the bruising above from the brow. Oh, Lola. See the common sense. I feel like I have to pee, but I tried it. I couldn't. Aww. Do you need help? Could you guys get me a pad to put underneath my sure. joke? Yeah. I want to have to pee on my right side. Daddy, are you uncomfortable? Well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it feels a little strange. You know, there's some sensations going on. Not a lot of pain. Mm. Really no pain. That's good. Well, your face looks very full. Is he supposed to move like that? It's okay. okay. You just can't turn left or right because okay. he did a lot of work on his neck, so that's why they keep him protected. Oh, I feel bad. It makes me it's a little bad, like it's like he's uncomfortable. Why can't you right back on? Why it's just hard to trade myself to pee again. That's really hard. I, I feel like I have to go.
my man. How are you? Good. Good. Things were pretty much as expected with Lorenzo. Um, everything with his recovery um, was as expected. You know, when you know when you do um, a mini facelift and as much fat transfer as I did, um, it's going to cause a lot of swelling. So he had a lot of swelling, but he was a great patient. Well, after all is said and done, I still look like myself, which I think is something that goes through everybody's mind before they do a procedure like this. I just look straight ahead of you. Very good. And then let's do three quarters the other way. I feel that that's the main thing that Dr. Mani accomplished is he turned back the clock for me. He turned it back about 10 years. The end result is far worth it. I'm very, very happy. Oh, really now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that says it all. <laughs>